Hey guys, Caleb here, S15274N. Wanted to do a quick video review of Roman's um, latest ROM for the Galaxy Tab 10.1 AOKP Android Open Cane Project. Um, big, big, big fan of Roman, big fan of this ROM. So incredibly happy. Uh, for everybody's kind donations to get him on board and working on building this for us. Um, you know, in my opinion, uh, you know, the Tab 10.1's future is much brighter. The Angry Unicorn boot animation was done by Ras Carlo. Uh, I'm pretty sure Roman's already been working with him trying to get another one done specific for the Tab. Amazing work by Ras Carlo. Uh, pretty awesome uh, what he can create. Those boot animations are stellar. All right, so, um, you know, boot up, typical, nothing looks crazy. Um, you know, AOKP is known on the Galaxy Nexus to have multiple things on here that you can go to. Right, right now, the camera's there. Camera does not work right now. If you went to that, it would soft reboot. Someone is going to unlock us. I would expect in the future to be able to add more uh, things to go to. All right. Uh, the ROM comes with a stock launcher and uh, Nova. Personally, I prefer Trebuchet. I hate saying that. Uh, the launcher for Sanja Mod 9. Uh, it's a great launcher. Big fan of it. Uh, I downloaded it, moved it to System Apps, and uh, you know I do that using Root Explorer. Great app. Um, go ahead and open it up. Now, to do that, a lot of people question where the settings are. It's in the top right, Trebuchet settings right there. Now, a lot of this stuff is not functional yet. Um, it will be in the future, um, but right now, not so much for tablets. So, go back, um, click on my settings. You'll notice I've got my settings look pretty stellar. Um, you know, you got your adjuster to slide brightness. Um, you know, to clear stuff, you can just swipe them. Now, I'm going to go to settings. Um, in here, you'll see ROM control. And this is where Roman, aka Java Monkey, does all of his work. It's pretty amazing, everything that's in here. Um, I don't know that this is showing up very well. I apologize. I don't really have a great camera. I'm in the middle of a move right now. Um, you know, disable boot animations. If you disable the bug mailer, I get a good laugh. He's got to where it calls you a jerk. Um, so, in effort to not be a jerk, I'll cut that back off. Uh, rotation, you know, other random stuff. In the power menu, do you want to see screenshots and power saver? Uh, I do not have power saver. Power saver is great for the phones like the Galaxy Nexus uh, AOKP for the tablet I don't think it's working properly yet or at least it's not something that I don't think we really need like the big thing with power saver like say you've got 4G or 3G when your screen times out you know this will let it go straight to edge to help save battery little stuff like that Roman built into it so I mean if he has a, uh, a ROM for your phone definitely Definitely try it out. Um, now, there are advanced settings like screen off Wi-Fi action, turn it on, turn it off, blah, blah, blah. So, I mean, there could be things of benefit in there for the Wi-Fi tab. I personally just have not really experimented too much with it. Toggles, uh, you know, which ones you want enabled. You can choose from the, li the list there. Uh, you can change the order of them, like, you know, silent, move it around. Um, Go back. Uh, brightness location on top, on the bottom. Don't even show it. I've got mine on the bottom. A lot of people just probably leave uh, brightness um, at one point. Don't change it that much. They so maybe they want to hide it. Um, toggle style. Uh, you can change text icon, no icon, no text. Um, alternate toggles. Remember, this is how I've got mine. Now, if I wanted, I could turn that off. And then it would be looking like that. Um, let's see. Battery. 
Um, I don't know if y'all have even noticed, but see this gap down here? Uh, that's because the bottom bar is actually my battery meter. So like right now, you know, I've got, I don't know, 90% probably. Um, that's because, you know, you can change things. Like if I wanted, I could have a battery icon down here. If I wanted to have it show battery text, I could, or I could turn it off. Uh, personally, I'm just gonna turn it off. Uh, battery bar location, top of nav bar. That's where I've got mine, but you can change it. Uh, battery bar style, you know, regular, charging animation, battery bar color, battery bar thickness. So like, even if I didn't like the bar, even if I love the MIUI bar at the bottom, but I wanted it thicker, well, I can do that. Um, you know, Roman's pretty detailed. He's got lots of little tweaks in there. Performance also is something that you can uh, adjust through ROM control. You know, I've got mine at one gigahertz. I don't really feel the need to overclock, but if you wanted to, you could go to 1.4. Um, you know, it's got the minimums, governors, you know, your typical stuff that you're familiar with for those who like to overclock, etc. Um, I probably should have shown this earlier, but about tablet, you know, it's 4.0.3. Latest kernels, burst shoots. Um, the phone, um, the phone, huh? The tablet itself flies. Um, huge, huge fan. Um, it's kind of amazing what they've done with it. And when I say they, I mean Roman uh, and Team Kang, whoever else helped contribute. But uh, this is basically you know Roman's undertaking. Um. Anyway, oh, and you know, a lot of people ask about HD videos. Um, so you know. I'll Cut on YouTube real quick. Um, see if I can find something interesting. What does this chick gotta say? All right. Well, you can see it's HD video. Wow, that is terrible. That chick is so much cooler than I am at YouTube videos. It's astounding. Anyway, everything works, you know, fast as can be. Um, I haven't really had any issues with it. The main things that don't work, things like camera, um, all your typical Sanjimai bugs. You know, this is built from source. Um, and I think Sanj, um, Roman probably takes certain things from Sanjimai. Uh, but it's really kind of all of his Java tweaks that make it special, in my opinion. Um, if you haven't done so, check out XDA. Give it a chance. I think you'll be a big fan of it also. Thanks, guys.